let's talk about something you experience every day but might not think about, heat. Whether it's the warmth of the sun, a hot cup of cocoa, or the chill of an ice cube, heat affects the world around us in fascinating ways. At the center of it all is something called the particle theory. It helps us understand how heat changes the motion of particles in solids, liquids, and gases. Let's dive in. The particle theory says that all matter is made up of tiny particles, and these particles are always moving. The amount of movement depends on how much energy they have, and heat is one way to give them more energy. When a substance gets warmer, its particles move faster. When it cools down, they move slower. Simple, right? But how this happens depends on whether the substance is a solid, a liquid, or a gas. In a solid, the particles are tightly packed together in a fixed pattern. They can't move around freely, so they just vibrate in place. Imagine a group of friends standing shoulder to shoulder, barely able to wiggle. When you add heat to a solid, the particles start vibrating faster and faster. If they gain enough energy, they might break free from their fixed positions, and the solid turns into a liquid. Like when ice melts into water. In a liquid, the particles are still close together, but they're not stuck in a fixed pattern. They can slide around each other, which is why liquids can flow. Think of that same group of friends, but now they can move around each other like in a slow game of tag. When you heat a liquid, the particles move faster and faster. If they get enough energy, they can break away completely from the group and spread out as a gas. That's what happens when water boils and turns into steam. In a gas, the particles are far apart and move around freely. They have so much energy that they're zipping around in all directions, bumping into each other and anything else in their way. Imagine those friends running wildly across a field with no one holding them back. When you add more heat to a gas, the particles move even faster and spread out even more which is why gases can expand to fill any container. So, what's really happening when heat affects matter? It's all about energy. Heat gives particles more energy, and this changes how they move. In a solid, they vibrate faster. In a liquid, they flow more quickly. And in a gas, they zoom around like crazy. The next time you watch water boil or feel an ice cube melting in your hand, you'll know exactly what's happening at the particle level. And that's pretty cool. Or should I say, pretty warm. <laughs>